welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green, the Psychic Medium, and we are going to get started right now. So for those of you who are new, you can call in the call and ask a question or connect with a loved one up above. The call-in number is 845-277-9100. The um, if you're watching live on YouTube, you can post a question. But you, I realized something last Wednesday when I was doing my show on Wednesday. It's when you call in, the energy and the connection is so much better. Um, I did my show, and then right after, I was a guest on Peter G's show, and everybody called in. And it was the messages and the energy was so good. Um, so if you call in, there's just something about that energetic connection. Plus, when I'm taking questions off of the chat, there's a lot of energy in the chat. Not saying it doesn't work. Just saying if you call in, you'll probably have a result that's a little different. Alrighty then. Having said that, this is my only YouTube channel. Please don't get scammed. I will never reach out to anyone and I will never uh, ask you for anything or tell you to do anything in a in a in a message, especially on social media, the only way to get a private session with me is to go to my website, uh, take care of things there, then call me and we book it. My sessions are over the phone or in person. I do not email or text sessions. Please do not get scammed. Alrighty. Uh, you know, I'm going to start right away. I'm, I need to give you guys this song so it will get out of my head because it is um, in my head. So if this song, it, it, it's, fr it's from a loved one, but if it's a song you love, they love, or just makes you think of them, what whatever it is, it's that song, um, Can't Stand in Welfare Lines, Living in a Gangster's Paradise. No, it is a hip hop rap song. And yes, I did massacre it because I can't even sing country folks. I, I don't want to ruin that song. I think it's just called Gangster Paradise. Um, but it has been, I don't think I can even do that song a little bit of justice trying to sing it. Just so you know, if that song, um, is, you know, hits you, you know that song is for you. Okay, I'm going to start with names today because they're telling me to start with names. Now, this could be your name, it could be your loved one's name, it could be a pet's name, a nickname, or somebody in heaven's name. Okay? Mariana, Miguel, Cesar, Cesar. Julio. Boy, we have some exotic names coming through right off the top. Julio. <laughs> I don't know why. I just like saying it. Julio. <laughs> okay. My producer is telling me get serious. By the way, I'm my producer, so there's that. Um, the next name is... Um, Rodrigo, the next name is um, whew, Esther, Esteban. Was it that like a cartel leader or something like that? I don't know. Anyway. The next name is Miguel. The next name is, what is up with all these names? Oh my gosh. Philip or Phil, the next name is Jimmy. The next name is Natalie. 
The next name is I, I'm trying to say, just give me a second here. Um, I'm not going to even try to say that one because I really can't. <clears throat> Excuse me. The next name is um, Indigo. And then I'm going to do two more names. Michelle. And then the last name is, um, well, there's two more names now, James and Jennifer. Okay, those are the names. Now I'm going to go into confirmations and songs. I've been combining the two of them. So if I if it's a song, I'll, I'll do what I do. But if it's a confirmation like Ladybugs, which is coming through, Ladybugs! I love ladybugs. Do you know why? Because I was told if they land on you, the number of spots that they have on their back is the number of years that you will have luck. So I tried to research what scent ladybugs like so they will land on you. So I can have years and years and years of good luck. The research didn't go far because like from the time I went from the kitchen to the computer, I've forgotten what I was going to do. <laughs> okay, let's just get on with the show. Again, the producer. Come on, Tony, get on with the show. Again, the producer, Tony. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Happy Labor Day, everybody. Um, I'm going to go uh, confirmations and songs. Ladybugs, obviously. Um blackbirds and then they're singing that song a blackbird something in the dead of night that song and then um that song i think it's by nora fly away with me fly away, come away with me or fly away with me that song um and then the song again of course can't stand in welfare lines something in a gangster paradise and I can hear the words, but I'm can't stand in welfare lines, living in a gangster paradise. Somebody put the the appropriate words to that, so I, I can at least earwig it with the right words. Um, Shake it off um, by that song. Shake it off. Um, that song, uh, Take Me to Church. Take me to church and I'll worship like a dog. I, I actually really like that song. I really do. Um, blue. Some I, Someone's showing me a blue vehicle. It's not a really, I don't think this is a really modern I don't know. I'm not I, a blue vehicle. You're going to know if that's for you. It's a blue vehicle. Uh, what else? What else do you guys have for me? Horses. Horses. The next thing they're showing me or giving me, and I'm only going to do two more so I can get to Q&A because I really want to get to Q&A today. Um, the next thing they're showing me is a kit kitty cats or cats kittens but these are kittens and a big like carpet tree a uh, cat tree thing one of those things with a carpet all around it that cats climb and claw on. kittens and that and one of the kittens i think i want to say this kitten is is black and white okay there might be another kitten but this is the kitten i'm seeing um and then Cuevo, Cerveza, Cuevo. What's Cuevo? What's Cerveza? Okay, that's it. We're going to start going for questions. Okay, you guys, 
I will be answering calls. If you can, please do call in today, 845-277-9131. I will be taking calls, answering your questions. I will also be answering in the, as I said, um, it is, a, it, there's just a different connection when I'm taking the call. So if I can take the call, I would really much rather take the call. So I'm going to go to the first caller who is 470. 470, what's your name and where are you calling from? Oh, hi. Yeah, my name is Sonia. I'm calling from Atlanta, Georgia. Hey, how are you today? I am good. Good. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing excellent. Thank you. How can I help you, love? Okay. <clears throat> well, I do have a question. It's from my sister. She was not able to join us. She had to. But anyway, uh, for my mom, she wants to know if my, her, our mom has any uh, messages for her. Her name is Jean. My mom's name is Clarice. Your mom's name is Clarice. Your sister's name is Jean. And Jean wants to know Jean? if Clarice right. has any messages for her. Yes, Jean. Yes. Okay. She wants to know if mom has any. I'm sorry, go ahead. No, no, it's okay. The first thing I hear is that song, When I Get My Money Right. And again, it's a hip hop song. And I really, I, I can hear the beat, but I cannot sing on beat. So the message I believe is going to be about finances and getting things in order, because then the next thing I hear is, and it's kind of, it's kind of like, you know how a mom would talk to their kid and be very matter of fact and very like, you need to do this. That's right. It's kind of like that, like get your money in order. Don't worry about, and I have goosebumps on the top of my head. I feel like somebody is pulling my hair up on the top of my head. Um, get your money in order. Oh. Don't worry about everybody else. You need to focus on you before you are, are not like before she is like, take care of you, take care of you first. Just stop worrying about this, that, and the other. You really need to look at, um, like look in the mirror, take a look at you, get your, get your poop. I'm saying it a little bit differently, but get your poop in a group. Make sure you are, and I feel like she needs to look at, I don't know. Okay, so I'm not sure how this message is meant. So I'm going to say it a couple different ways just to cover the bases. Make sure she's okay. taking care of all of her bills first. Or go through her bills again because she may have missed one. Or she needs to figure out what to do with one. Now, I'm going to tell you if this is not about your sister particularly, and it's about something your sister is taking care of for someone else, that she really needs to go through everything with a fine tooth comb and make sure it's all taken care of because I feel like there's something she might be missing. I feel like there's a an element. There's an a, she's using the word element, but she's also saying get the money, get your get your well. I'm gonna say her money right because we're talking from the mom to the sister. Get the money right or get your money right and make sure you're covering everything. Don't worry okay. about uh, like outside noise or blah, 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 blah. Get, get everything in order okay. first. Don't, don't, don't like, it's almost like all these people are coming to her saying something or trying to, to, like she's got, a, I don't know if she has a lot of people asking her for stuff, expecting stuff or looking at whatever she's doing, but she just okay. needs to get through. Well, the, she has a son, so uh, would that be, she has a son that's living with her. Is Would that be? 
Maybe I what I see or what I'm hearing. This is this is the the best way I can say it. Do you know how sometimes we will go out on a limb for someone, but we really kind okay. of feel like maybe we shouldn't do that because it might make us a little bit tight or we think we have it, but then we look again and we're like, oh, how did I miss that? Or like, okay. you know how our water bill only comes every third month or something like that? And then we're like, oh, I thought I paid that. But I there's something like that going right. on with her and she needs to look. Whatever this is about, here's the way I'm going to say this. Even if it's not about bills, she needs to get her money right. That's the, the message okay. that I am getting for her from your guys's mother. And your mother would like to say she loves you, but she loves you, you all. And to uh, have each other's backs and take care of each other and be, okay. be understanding, but also be honest with each other. I don't know why that's coming through either, mm -hmm. sweetie, but it is, okay? To be understanding, but also be what with each other. I missed that part. Honest, honest with each other. Honest. Okay. So you can be, okay. you can really be understanding, but factually understanding. <laughs> okay. So, so something's going on in your sister's life, and I think she needs someone to say, "Listen, this is what you need to do." That would be my message. And uh, everything will turn out all right if she looks at everything with eyes wide open. Okay, love? Oop, I, I'm so sorry. I accidentally hit the wrong button. I was just flipping screens and I actually hit the mute button. But thank you so much for calling in. I'm really grateful for that. If anybody else would like to call in and ask a question or connect with a loved one up above, the call-in number is 845 two seven seven nine one three one um i go live every monday at noon every wednesday at 7 p.m both of those times are central if i don't get to your question today i will try to get to it then it is uh i love the questions in the chat but if you call in it there's sometimes a little bit more time or the question you know it, it can the energy can be different okay jordan wants to know is the person i'm currently with the person i'll be with forever um i don't know how long the two of you have been together um and this is a difficult question question to answer for me because I know when we ask these questions, we're really hoping for a certain answer. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to say this, Jordan, relationships, any relation, and I say this all the time on my show, any relationship can work for as long as you want it to, depending upon how much you're willing to put up with and or sacrifice, okay? If it's an unhealthy, dysfunctional relationship. Having said that, if it's a healthy, loving relationship, you don't need to ask that question. Although I do know, sometimes we just wanna know, hey, is this the right person? Am I with the right person? Jordan, I think, you and this person do have a really good connection. You're, and I don't know why I'm hearing on again, off again, on again, off again, but if that's true, then you, you have to decide how much you can handle. One of the things I'm also hearing is one year. Now, if I just do the basic question, is this for your forever person? No. And I, I apologize for the bluntness of that. What I will say is, depending on how much, again, you are willing to, whatever it, it possibly could be, but I recommend that we don't 
entertain unhealthy situations for any reason, um, not even for the reason of love, because that's not love. That's um, when you're in a situation and it's somewhat unhealthy or dysfunctional and you're sacrificing, that's a repeat of a traumatic incident, probably from your childhood. I know, profound. And people don't like hearing that. They really don't. They want to believe that their uh, romantic comedy, a rom-com, every movie has it. Like, what would a romantic movie be without the drama, right? We want to believe that we have this once-in-a-lifetime love, and we're just going to overcome it. We're going to overcome the problem. Mm, never in history. Rarely in history does that happen but you have the right to try and to fight for it for as long as you choose. Jor Jordan, I feel like if I'm being honest with you, just answering your question directly, it's a no. Every time I ask, no matter how long I ask, and for some reason I hear a year, I don't know if that means your relationship will last a total of a year or you have a year from now. It's up to you and you know better than I do what the dynamics are in your relationship. I do feel like uh, you're going to have a choice to make in, a, in between a month and a month and a half. Um, and I will say this to everybody and I will say it all day long, choose you. Because at the end of the day, if there's a choice, it's being given to you to help you and you have to wake up with you for the rest of your life. That's the only guarantee every night when you go to sleep, every morning when you wake up, you are going to be there. So always choose you and your happiness. I'm going to go to the next caller who is 780. 780, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hey, Toya, she calling from Canada. Happy hey, Labor Day to Happy you. Happy Labor Day. How are you? pretty good as well September's already here I mean just already holy cow that's a I know summer I tell you I don't even I don't know you guys in the chat tell me do you remember New Year's at this point I don't even remember New Year's I, <laughs> I like I'm having I was thinking yeah. back to New Year's I'm like January seems like it was so long ago but then it feels like we didn't even have like really a June or a July. So I don't get it. I don't get it. I I really don't. But okay, Jay, how can I help you today? Well, before I start, you're right about communications and, and actually, you know, face to face or talking to people because it's just a better way of actually communicating and a better connection with spirit or even yeah. messages across. So I'm just going to say that too. I believe in that. And well, like, I know I don't believe in it. I, it's true. Yeah, and like if the last person I answered her question, Jordan, would have called in, I would understand. Like I can answer that question. I'm answering it honestly. However, if she had, would have called in, that whole interaction would have been a little bit different. Um, because sometimes I think when people ask about relationships, I think they think I'm just being cruel and I'm really not. I wish I could be the airy fairy. Oh my God, it's going to be perfect and beautiful. But I, mm -hmm. I, I would rather be honest than lead somebody astray, even if it might be right. a little bit harmful for them. Anyway, Jay, well, back to you. <laughs> What's going on with you? Moral well, credit. Credibility. Yes. Um, my question is that I'm planning of taking a, um, well, I got to get a little bit more of a, uh, kind of like a martial arts course or uh, a self defense course. And I don't know if I'm being pulled in it by my loved one or just, I don't know, I just feel time is right. Um, I'm, my question is, is the right thing to do at this time right now? Yeah, and I feel like I hear the sooner the better, the sooner the better, the sooner the better. It's really going to bring um, a couple of things to you, and one of them is balance. It's going to move your energy. I hear chi, like cha-cha-cha-chia, but chi. Um, 
and it's just going to move your energy and bring you balance and something with your chi, C-H-I, chi. Um, so I feel like you should do that. And the sooner you do it, the better. Everything will work out with scheduling and everything. So don't worry about that. And you're going to find, if you haven't found the perfect place, you're going to find it very soon. Okay. Yes, I did find a place and uh, it's good. Uh, talk to them tomorrow and do an info class maybe on the 7th. Probably I will go on the 7th. So it's yeah. a little bit more and I think it sounds just right. So you're right. Yeah. Just want to confirm. It's so, going to be, you're yeah. really going to enjoy it, Jay. You really are. Right. Wow. I'm going to, this is exciting. There's a new metric. I'm well, getting strippers already. So yeah, it's the right, right thing to do. Okay. Excellent. Awesome. Love your messages, you know. You take care. You too. Thank you <laughs> so you much, Jay. Thank you. And enjoy your class. I feel like it's going to be really good. You're going to meet some new people. But the bigger thing is it's really going to be very balancing for your energy. And you're really going to... It's gonna. It's going to change your your mind too, which is important. Okay, if you'd like to ask a question or connect with a loved one, you can call in eight four five two seven seven nine one three one. You can, if you're watching live, you can post your question um, in the YouTube chat. And if you'd like a private session, you can reach out to my website, and I'm always happy to. Um, to uh, schedule a private session one-on-one. -on -one. Um, I do those over the phone, so you're actually talking with me. We're gonna go to Gypsy Ann. Gypsy Ann says, hi, Tony, I moved nine months ago to this new apartment. It's too loud. Train station across from me. I put my name on the waiting list today, hoping to move there do you see me moving there and if so when okay let me just do it this way is gypsy ann gonna move in the near future yes uh gypsy ann i feel like in january there's gonna be some openings I feel like January, February, March, I get all yeses on anything before January, I get a no on. So if I ask uh, September, October, November, December, January is the first month when you will be able to relocate. Is it gonna be at the same place you're at now? It might not be within the same, it might not be within the same uh, company or buildings that you're with now, you may relocate to a different area or space altogether. If you stay under the umbrella of the company you're at now, it may be a completely different location. So please be open to that. I hope that's helpful for you, love. I really do. I don't remember. I think 630. 630, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. Thank you for taking my call. This is Dion, and I'm in North Carolina today. Oh, excellent. Hey, Dion, how can I help you today? <laughs> so, Tony, a couple of weeks back, you connected with a lady that was on the other side by the name of Monique. And the information that you gave me was unbelievably spot on. Like, I was so freaked out. I wanted to call you and be like, oh my God, you're not going to, but of course you would believe it because you're a medium. But so I took the information and I went forward with it, but look, I'm having a problem with this lady by the name of Karen, who's really like gatekeeping the, the process that I need to wrap it up. Do you know what her deal is or why she's being a skull tactic? Um, so let me, give me a second because I am going to tell you, Dion, even tapping into, she's just very guarded. She's very protective and guarded, not only of whatever information, but of herself. 
Um, she doesn't want to make mistakes. She doesn't want to, but also like hold, having this gives her a certain amount of power because like you can't do anything without her. These are just the messages I'm getting. Um, she has a little bit of an inability to uh, like share or be open. Now, because of the question you asked, these are the answers I'm getting. There is a lot more to this person than just this. We're just talking about this one aspect and this situation. She's, you know, outside of this situation, she could be a completely different person, but she's very guarded and protective of her bubble is the word I'm going to use. If you need this information or you want this information, you have to kind of play, I don't want to call it a game, but but you can't be direct. You can't say, I need this now. This is, give me this now. Even if that is the way it's normally done, that's going to make this person pull back and be more guarded. Um, how, what's the best way to deal with this would be to, um, I hear the word circle. Like, it just seems intentional that she's sitting on it. Like yeah. she's intentionally doing it. Yeah. I mean, everything I just said is that she's intentionally doing it because she is guarded. She's protecting it. She has a bubble around her that is having her sit on this information and not share it. Um, obviously, because you've asked and she has not given. So the one thing I would say is it, it I would, I personally, I personally, me, I would look for another source. I would say, okay, who else might have this information? Someone above her, someone beside her. Can I get this information someplace else? I would start going there. Because when she feels like you no longer need the information or want the information, that's when she's going to give it to you and she's going to breadcrumb it to you. And that's what I can tell you about her. I truly hope that's helpful. Dion, hey, Grandma Kitty. Hey, Rebecca. Uh, Rebecca wants to know, do you see Clyde getting some incoming in really could use it on my house um i think you mean money do you see clyde getting some income income coming in could really use it on the house okay so yeah money okay do i see clyde getting some income coming in anytime soon no month two months three months four months it'll be about four months rebecca I'm really, or Melissa, I'm sorry, Melissa, Melissa, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Melissa, this was for you, Melissa, because um, I was focused in on the energy of the question. I'm sorry I said the wrong name. Melissa, I see the four month mark being relevant and when something will open up. And again, this is more to do, do with this person, Clyde, it's going to come in when action is, t like the right action is taken or the intention on the action is there. I see the four month mark being when income starts coming in. So that could mean they might find something in the three month mark, but not get an actual pay until the four month mark. But they have to, Clyde has to stay very diligent and on top of it, otherwise, uh, could miss that mark also. Melissa, I'm so sorry. Um, I'm so sorry I said the name wrong. And then Melissa follows that up with everything you told me has been right. Oh, thank you. It's give credit to them. It's all them. They they are the ones that um that bring all the information in. So yes. Okay, we're gonna go next to um 708. 708, what's hi, your Tony. name? Hey, hi, how are you? Hi, hi Tony. This is, this is Pat from Illinois. 
Hey, Pat, how can I help you? Well, you said so many things at the beginning. You said horses, cats, blackbird song, take me to the church song. And then you said Jane, which was my husband. So I was like, no, I'm confused because I'm all over the place. Um, maybe it's a message from, from my husband, Jim. Okay. Okay, so the first thing I hear, and I don't know if this makes sense to you, but the first thing I hear is Jimbo. So I don't know if that makes sense or somebody used that when he was younger or something like that. I don't know. But the next thing I what, I'm sorry. What, I didn't hear you. What, uh, what did you say that the word was? Jimbo, like the name Jimbo. Oh, Jimbo. Okay. And then, okay. and you, if there's something you don't hear when you re-listen to the show, you'll probably pick it up. But um, the next thing that I'm hearing is um, he wants you to know, like, make sure she knows I loved her and I still love her, that I'm I'm with her still. I, I hang out all the time. Um, and then I hear the song, the old time of rock and roll and I see in the car and music. And if you could play some of the music that he really liked in the car, he would appreciate that. <laughs> so he has some requests for you to play different types of music while you are driving with him in Does the car. Does he have any advice for me? Um, yeah, play different music. To play different music <laughs> that would be his message for you um you know and i'm go i'm going to say this pat i i know i feel like you have listened to the show before and i feel like everybody most people who are calling in or putting a question in the chat you know it's one question or one connection and if you have a specific request for information from someone from the other side state that right away just say listen i need some advice on this subject can you please give it to me i'm happy to do that i just need to know ahead of time uh pat the one thing i would say he's saying is um and i i, I don't know for whatever area this is for he is saying it's time for you to move on it's time for you to move on. Get it together. It's okay. It's time for you to move on. Whatever that is for Pat, you should know. And that is his message for you. And make sure she knows I love her. Um, oh, Trisha wants to know, does my dog Rex have any messages for me? Um yeah, the, the biggest thing that I get from Rex is um, that there's, there's a song that's coming through. It's Take the Long Way Home, Take the Long Way Home, um, something, something, rodeo. Uh, that song, whatever that song is for you. And then Rex is saying um, the next thing is uh, that you know, it's, I'm, I'm just going to say it. I'm, I'm really hesitating saying it and I don't know why, but thank you. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry for all the, um, almost like if, if something with him was expensive or cost some kind of financial cost with Rex, um, but thank you. I it best. It's so funny how pets communicate, even though their souls are so much more advanced. It's the best life ever. Best life ever. Hands hands down, best life ever. So that's like what Rex would say to you. Thank you so much for asking that. I'm really grateful to get that. And um. I, I'm going to ask this and you can answer below something about a water bowl. Do you still have Rex's like water bowl? Because I just hear water bowl, water bowl. So if you don't have Rex's water bowl, then it's something about Rex's water bowl and you'll know what that is, even though I may not because I'm just hearing water bowl 
and and you'll know what that means. Now I'm going to tell you from Max and Bella, who were my little my little furless babies. Um, I still have ninety percent of their stuff. I just can't. I still can't let it go. Even if I did get another pet, I probably would not use this stuff with them. I don't. I know. Is anybody else like that? Do you guys do that? Do you hold on to all that stuff? I don't know. I, I don't know. Going to the next caller who is uh, 561. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi. Hi, Tony. Stacy from Florida. Happy Labor Day. Hey, happy Labor Day. How can I help you today, Stacy? Yeah, I just want to know when things will move forward, get better, you know, because it's been a hard summer and everything, and just wondering when things will, you know, brighten up. Okay, um, I'm going to tell you the first thing I heard, but I don't like it personally. Um, so I'm going to double check that answer just to make sure. Um Okay, so what I hear is March, and the reason it's going to be March, and I know that seems like it's so far off, but in the bigger scheme of things, it's not. So please bear with me while I tell you, in March, everything, the like the load is going to be lightened and lifted, and you're going to feel a lot better, okay? Between now and March, it they're showing me like, these hills now none of the hills are big it's not mountains it's just hills one hill after the other and that's the problem it's almost like you're constantly climbing a little hill and then there's a little relief and then another hill it's almost like paycheck to paycheck or <clears throat> month to month or like as soon as one thing gets resolved another thing pops up when March rolls around, something's going to come in or happen that's going to help all of that out. And right now I'm going to um, I'm going to do a clearing, a healing uh, for anybody who wants this to be in a position that is, uh, that they are stronger. We are strong. And so let's clear anything weakening us anything that's taking our resilience, anything that's taking our strength. Because when we have the attitude, F this, I've got this, no big deal, it seems to clear up faster and we get through it better. So let's do that healing, clearing, releasing it, moving it all out. And I really do hope that helps. And March is not that far away. Um, in the bigger scheme of things. In the bigger thing, scheme of things, March is not that far away. So just push through to March and you're going to be really have like such a great release or relief in March. Okay, love? Oh, thank you. That helps me. It's like one thing in the other, the, a cable goes and then at and is on strike. Imagine that. So you can't even get any Wi-Fi, any of this. And then the job is like horrible and my paycheck is horrible. And then dealing with my brother, that's not good because he refuses to help out. So it's a, it's a lot. It's like one thing after the other, you know? My yeah. brother, you know, is very selfish. And, you know, you're talking to a wall when you talk to him. You know? Now, are you and your brother living together? Well, yeah, like right now, yeah. I don't get to work or do anything, and that's the problem. And I'm like, you know, okay, you know, so it's hard, you know. It's, so, it's Stacy, uh, you're breaking up a little bit. It's going gargly. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just put you on mute, and I'm gonna say something here. And I might, a couple people might hang up on me or stop watching at this point, and that's okay because my messages are always blunt and honest. They're not always the airy fairy, like, oh my gosh, Stacy, you're so wonderful. Stacy, stand up for yourself. And I know if you're telling him 
and he's not doing it, you have to maybe invite him to live someplace else. Um, at the end of the day, I, I hear every single day from people that they're dealing with men, women are dealing with men that refuse to even put in 10%, whether they're in a relationship, family, whatever it is, they won't even put in that little bitty 10% and they don't want to. If he doesn't want to work, tell him, go get social security, tell him to do something. But it's not, I'm going to say it like this, allowing, and, and people will disagree with me because we have this thing in our country today where we feel so sorry for everybody. And we need to stop that now. But if if people are not willing to stand up and move forward, we are doing a disservice to them by letting them sit on their booty because that is not their purpose for this life that they have incarnated in. And I'm going to say this, when people work, even though they may not love what they're doing, their whole being changes. And it's not your personal purpose or responsibility to take care of another full grown person. At this point, either this person needs to move, get a job, or get on some kind of assistance to help bring things in. And I know that sounds harsh, but what's more harsh is him leeching off of you. And I know it would be very difficult for you to tell him if you don't work, you've got to move. If you're not paying bills, you've got to move. If you can't say it, just put it in writing. And in writing say, you know what, I cannot do this on my own. You must do it. You must do it by this time or you're going to need to find someplace else to stay. Now he'll either find someplace else to stay or he'll start to look and try. He doesn't want to, nobody does. Listen, 90% of the people working, you don't wanna to go to work every day, but you're doing it, right? Because you don't wanna be homeless. You don't have the option to not do that. Don't let him have that option to not do that. Now, if he does not, then you have to be strong and say, listen, for your own good and for my own good, it's either A or B. Now, put all of this in writing because typically when we try to talk to somebody who's a manipulator or who knows that they just want to sit and do nothing, they already have all the answers and they block us out. If you put it in writing, you're going to have a better chance. And at the end of the day, as difficult as it may be, this is not what anybody wants for you. Nobody up above is saying, you need to take care of a full grown man. They wouldn't want that. So please don't think that. Okay, love, I know it's very difficult to take those steps. And sometimes we feel like we're so defeated that we can't. But you're really going to need to otherwise, a drowning person will take two people down if you do not take care of it correctly, right? You have to make that person get to the shore without them taking you down, okay? I hope that's helpful and I'm sorry because I know that is not always easy to, to do, okay. Next, Ani says, uh, I wanna know what is causing my lack of confidence right now? Well, let's just do a clearing, um, anything stopping, blocking, confidence in any of us is now being healed, cleared, release. And I'm gonna add to that, all self-defeat is being healed, cleared, released. 
Ooh, that one that one makes me a little dizzy. Are you guys feeling that? Please let me know. Okay, cerveza is a beer and Quavo is a tequila. I knew it sounded familiar. <laughs> Quavo is a tequila. <laughs> I knew Quavo sounded familiar. Okay, okay. Um, I'm going to go to the next caller who is 850. 850, what's your name and where are you calling from? It's Michelle from Florida. Hey, Michelle, how are you today? Oh, working my tail off, doing some work on, on the boat. And, um, but I was just curious. Um, I met a new lady and she's working me and paying me cash, which is good, you know, because I'm on social security. And, um, she got kind of upset with me. She's like, girl, I told you. Well, there was a door that I wasn't supposed to paint because they were taking it out. Well, I misunderstood. It was the whole wall they're taking out. So I painted the wall. But anyways, I don't want her mad at me, but it was a common mistake. But um, how long do you see her working me? I mean, I asked her if she wanted me to come work. She said yes. Most definitely is what she told me. So I was wondering, you know, how long do you see them working me? And I mean, I like her as a friend, but I also see she can be a little fussy you know i think okay. maybe that's why she don't have a whole lot of friends so much michelle correct yes okay michelle i'm just gonna mute you while i answer this please don't go any place so michelle the the one thing about people who i'm gonna say this the best way i can about a month to a month and a half and i think it might be your choice to go because Sometimes people like this who who become our friend and then they they want us to be there at their beck and call or work for them and they're very particular or they have expectations and sometimes we can reach those expectations sometimes we can't I'm trying to be very nice and gracious about her um, the short answer is a month to a between a month and a month and a half. Um, don't try to be sometimes in order to gain somebody's respect, we kind of have to stand up for ourselves a little bit too. Um, no matter this is the okay, thank you. Thank you, spirit. No matter how you act, behave, or concede, or how nice you are, or how ac accommodating, that's the word, it's going to be about a month and a half. Um, so don't feel badly if you are not, don't, in a month and a half, don't think, well, if I would have done this or I would have done that, it would last longer. I don't feel like that is even close to the case at all. So just please know that about a month and a half is your answer. I hope that is very helpful. Um, there's a couple of people in the chat asking if I'm answering questions. Yes, you get to, you can ask one question, put it in the chat. I take everybody, um, uh, I take ev everybody um, in the order that they put their question, okay? Uh, uh, let me see. Um, Karen, I think I've answered that question. I'm not sure, but I feel like we've talked about the man you're with before. Um, Victoria wants to know, I'm currently looking for a place I'll be able to move into before I have to leave my old place. Don't want to be homeless. Are you, so your question is, are you going to find a place on time? Is she going to find a place on time? Yes. Yes. It's going to be close, but you'll find one. Um, look outside your but not your boundaries but look outside the lines that you like you have this area that you're looking in i'm hearing if you look in outside of that area you're going to find some place better and sooner and that's what i'm getting for you victoria i hope that helps you i really do um i'm gonna go to 917 917 what's your name and where are you calling from 
Hi, my name is Ashiel, and I'm calling from New York. How can I help you today? Uh, I'm trying to see if you can connect me to my mother. Her name is Josephine. Okay, your phone is gargling up a little bit. So you want me to connect you with your mother? Um, Her name is Josephine. Mother, mother, Josephine. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Give me a second here. One second. I'm just going to mute you and connect if I can. So the first thing I'm hearing, and I'm going to start doing a clearing for you and anybody else listening or watching, there's a great deal of sadness and um, like, it's not heaviness, but it's this underlying sadness. So we're going to pull all of that out. We're going to start to just clear and heal this. And then the second thing I'm hearing is you you feel like sometimes you're carrying the weight of the world or it's all too much. And the one thing she would just say to you is just breathe. Just have your breath. Um have your breath, just breathe and let your breath take, like, take it away. Um, there's a lot of things she's saying. There's a lot of things that you've gone through that have not been resolved or you have not been able to talk about them or express them with anyone. Um, and Ish Ishil, I think I'm saying your name correctly. If I'm not, please forgive me. If you write about this, if you write it and how it is, um, it will be very, very helpful, not only for you, for others. So um, I'm going to say this in another way, the way I, I'm just going to say like, you know, women can openly cry with their friends and talk about things with their friends and men really don't do that. Um, even the bigger things, they just kind of keep it in or just pretend it didn't happen. Um, the number one thing is to just write the things out just first and foremost to get them out and to to let that be out and the griefing or the sadness is almost over the term of that the cycle of that is almost done i hear in january there's going to be a huge lift of that um where when you think of things you let's just say when you think of your mother when you think of things people places it's going to be the good thoughts, not the heavy thoughts so much anymore. <clears throat> Get out as much as you can. And she is showing me, I don't know if this is going to make sense. I hear red ruby and I'm, 90 seeing, seconds. Uh, I'm seeing like a red stone. Like it could be a gar, I don't know if a garnet is red, but a red, a red ruby. And I, I have such a little bit of time left. Is she, this is a shield, right? Hello. Okay. Does the, that make sense to you? What she said, what was said? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Please. Please start writing. You might be very amazed where this goes. You might even come up with like a program to help other men who need to say something to be able to say something. And then the red, the red stone, uh, the red stone, uh, never let it go. That's just what I hear. I hope that's helpful for you. Okay, my friend. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. You are so welcome. You are so very, very welcome. And thank you. I appreciate you.